Hey everyone, this is another class that I'm using to prep for my beginning classes that I'll be teaching in Dallas here in a couple of weeks. Um, you know, there's so many different ways to use Inktense pencils, and this is one that I think is kind of fairly clever. Um, it helps to use Inktense pencil and recycle the cuttings or the leavings or the scrapings, whatever you want to call it, when you use a pencil sharpener, which is what I did to get what you see down in the bottom of this uh, palette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a tiny bit of fabric medium in here. Um, and why am I doing this? Well, I'm gonna switch back over and show you the chrysanthemum that I'm about ready to color. And yes, I can go in and color that and, and try to vary the, um, the color with pressing harder or lighter. But I think what I wanna to try to do is create some paint and that way I can actually create my own shades on the fly. And that way it would, might be a little bit faster and easier to, to color. So anyway, here goes. So I'm taking my, don't look at my very gross bottle of fabric medium. Yes, this is what happens when you use a bottle too long. And I'm going to pour, if it's coming, coming, coming. I don't want to pour too much. Um, and my, <laughs> my drip, my spout is all clogged up with the same stuff that you see there. So, you know, note to self, keep your, keep your fabric medium. Oops. Okay. Wow. That's a little bit more than I wanted. So beware. Um, it pays to clean your cap so that you can squirt out enough rather than trying to pour. But that's okay. I can still use this. So I'm just going to start swooshing my brush. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is going to be good because I do want a fairly light pink. Um, by the way, the color that I used was the Inktense Pencil Fuchsia. And that's really giving me, I'm, I'm getting a very nice uh, color. Now, what you want to do, you can see in there, there's still bits of colors, shavings. Um, a little bit of this, by the way, goes a really, really long, long way. Um, it, it's really a very economical way to use your Inktense pencils um, and, and actually kind of create Inktense paint, if you will. Now there is on the market a little paint palette pan. It's called a travel pan set of ink tense colors that you can certainly use uh, in lieu of this. But you know, if you're gonna sharpen your pencils, you might as well take advantage of all that color that you ended up paying for in all those pencils to begin with, right? Um, so that's what we're doing here. Wow, I am thrilled to death. This is giving me a um, really nice rich pink um, that I'll be able to use on my chrysanthemum. Now, um, one thing, um, let me note this here. Uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to use this, say for a later date and time, you know, my suggestion is, is get an airlock tight snap-on cap or a small little bottle um, you know, maybe even like a pill bottle. It will last a little while, like maybe a couple of weeks, but it eventually will dry out. So the other thing you may want to do are find little screw tops, um, some that are used for lip gloss. They sell them on Amazon all the time. Um, so look how pink that, like, it's like almost getting cherry pink now. Uh, so, so you can see this is a really good idea. Um, it didn't take hardly anything at all. I still can see scrapings down there. So I'm going to continue to blend. Now, just, just real quick, since, since it's here, you know, let's come over here. And I'm looking at these outer layers of a cherry blossom. In fact, not cherry blossom, chrysanthemum. And you'll see the outer edges are lighter pink and it gets darker towards the center. So what I'm going to do now is just, just, you know, lightly. Ah, oh, yeah, that's great. Oops, yes, I'm getting it on the green. You know, you can kind of come along and wipe it off. There you go. Um, 
I'll come back in with deeper color, but right now I'm just using that little bit of pale pink um, paint from a, fa uh, 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 excuse me, Ooh, can't talk, from a fuchsia colored pencil with with a lot of fabric medium. That was probably a good solid teaspoon of fabric medium. You probably don't need to use that much here. Let me sit back so you can see this better. But there you have it. I mean, I, I like doing that this way. You'll also notice too, there's no streaking. And what I'm gonna do is later on, I'll come back in and deepen as we get towards the back end of the petal with the pencil itself. But at least this way I can go in and put some lighter color down first and then deepen the color as I get towards the center. Well, there you go. Um, another way to use your ink tense pencils. Hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching me. And gee, if you feel like it, hit that follow button. I, I tend to write um, and produce little videos like this all the time to help my students and anybody else who's interested in fabric painting. Again, thanks for watching.